Welcome back to the channel. Today is day 163 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're going to need until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. All right, let's take our first break. It is super cold out here tonight. Oh, this weather is bipolar. <laughs> it was in the 50s, and then it got really windy and cold. And it's back to cold again, even though they're announcing it to be in the 70s soon again, so. Meantime, here we are, 3 a.m. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. right now. Uh, actually, it's 3.35. It is super cold. But here we are, going at it because <laughs> worked in the morning. Yesterday, I worked in the morning which is kind of what I was expecting it to happen. Worked in the morning, came back home, almost too tired. I went to bed for a short nap. <laughs> yeah, eight hours later, <laughs> I'm like, crap. Uh, but at least I didn't get a call to work tonight or last night to work third shift, which was not gonna happen anyway. So, made the decision of working out now like had dinner and then take a short nap for sure this time and wake up before I get my phone call to go to work and that's what we're doing today and then today when I come back from work I don't know what time I'm gonna work out because I need to work out again uh, that's one of the things of not having a regular schedule. You just gotta do what you have to do when you can do it. Have to make some sacrifices sometimes. But anyway, super cold out here. Uh, I don't know if you can see there, but not really crazy. Ooh, goosebumps going on. <laughs> oh. All right. Here we go with the second set of these dips, which they should be like I should be getting warm by doing dips, but it is so cold I don't I don't feel anything besides painting my fingertips and my toes. back inside the house soon anyway let's get back to it here we go Thank you. 
Time for a second break. All right, triceps are burning a little bit. Gotta keep pushing, gotta keep pushing. All right, so we have two more sets of the dips. Um, I have most of the weights already here. Uh, the smart belts are already set up. And this plate holder is also set up with 50 pounds, which last week I did more than 50 pounds. But I'm gonna start with a 50. And then after the first set, depending on how it goes, if I'm too cold, not too cold, my elbows are liking it or not, I will add 10 more pounds to it and leave it there. I'm going to probably pass the 15 rep mark. Uh, if that happens, I'll have to add more than one 10 pound plate to it. So. Starting with 50s, with 50 here, that's a good warm up, and then move on from there. We'll keep an eye on the form and the speed or the pace of the exercise. Yesterday I was thinking about wearing shorts. Not going to happen anytime soon. Looks like, well, maybe next week when it gets warm down to the 70s or up to the 70s. Maybe then. In the meantime, still wearing pants and t-shirts at least a t-shirt I don't know how I did, did it for so long with shorts in the middle of the winter time ah uh, pants are definitely way more comfortable when it's cold outside all right time still ticking we have two more sets of the dips I feel my triceps are burning a little bit but I am still cold All right, just a couple more seconds. All right. Let's get this done. Here we go. Time for a third break. Woo. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely feeling the triceps. It's a little bit of a controversy on what dips actually do. If they work out your chest or your triceps. In my book, they work out your triceps if you do them for triceps. <laughs> they can work your chest, but it's a little bit of a different exercise if you want them to work your chest. So that is the answer there. A little bit of a different exercise for the chest. If you focus the exercise into your triceps, it's a tricep exercise. At least the way I'm doing them is for, for triceps. My form is not perfect, but it's 
good enough to work the triceps. <laughs> ah. Ouch. All right, we have one more set. We'll get this bench out of the way and then bring the pulley. And then we're gonna call, close the day with the kickbacks again. I can't believe it is so cold. Well, but April is right around the corner. Just a couple more weeks, it will be in April. I can't believe that. April, June, oh, June, when June comes around. Actually, May, even in May. May comes around and start getting warm out here. Pennsylvania is pretty humid too, so it's gonna be interesting to see how the workouts are gonna go in here when it's cold or when it's not cold, when it's hot and humid. All right, just a few more seconds to go. And we're gonna go in with the last set of the dips. All right, too much waiting. Let's do it, here we go. Definitely fill in the triceps. Woo. That was good. All right, let's get this thing out of the way. And put it right here. Oh my goodness. All right, let's bring you guys up. Just fine. Whew. All right, there we are. Oh, this microphone is hanging a little more than usual. But it's my own fault. This shirt is bigger on me than it was 163 days ago. Oh, all right, still over a minute to go on our on that break and this break <laughs> uh, I'm gonna start with the oh, try some push downs and after the first set we're gonna add 10 pounds and based on the second set then we'll decide if we add 10 pounds more or five or what we're gonna do so far, we'll start with 50, and then 
uh, we're gonna go as slow and smooth as we possibly can and move on from there. All right, just a few more seconds to go. And we're gonna go right into it. Hopefully we don't push our chest into this exercise. Besides, pumping it out to keep a good form. All right, too much waiting. Time is up and here we go. All right, that was good. Let's take a break. And right now, I'm not sure if I want to add more weight to it. That felt real good. That really felt real good there. Felt like that is the perfect, <laughs> perfect amount of weight. So I'm gonna keep it there for the rest of the exercise. Unless something weird happens like last week or even uh, when was it? shoulder day that <laughs> for some reason <laughs> in the last set I did more reps than in the first one, which is kind of backwards. But I don't think it's gonna happen today. It's it's really cold and I don't know. So I get, I'm gonna call that as a weird, weird day. Uh, but this one, it felt felt pretty good. Heavy, not too heavy. I kept a good pace on it. Decent form was also. Definitely felt it in the tricep. No discomfort in the elbows yet. <laughs> so we're gonna keep it there and keep on pushing, keep on pushing. All right, all right. Still over a minute to go on this break. I have some water just Stay hydrated in a cold weather. <sighs> All right, time still ticking. Tiny wrist. However, I'm all set for the second set. In that rhyme. And about my well, I'll talk about my body fat in a sec. Time is up, and here we go with the second set of the tricep push downs. Here we go.
All right, time's ticking again. Gosh, triceps, tri triceps are burning. All right, so I was gonna mention about my body fat and my diet. <laughs> uh, seems like uh, adding the extra 100 calories and staying within the range of calories in concept consumption wise, I am already again starting to lose weight again. Not as much as I did when I had that extra 100 calories to lose, but definitely it's definitely working. So, that being said, I'm gonna keep the calories where they are currently till I lose about five, maybe five or six more pounds, and then we'll we will reassess the calories. So five or six more pounds from now. That will put me in the 170 pound kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It will put me within 170, 179 pounds, somewhere in there. And then we'll, we will reassess because I don't want to be too, <laughs> I don't want to be too, too lean. Uh, I'll definitely have to work on gaining muscle mass to help me burn more calories. And it's easier, or it's not easy. I don't know, it's kind of a big deb debate on how it's easier to gain muscle, either being lean or on a bulk or... It's too much, too much information. I like to, I like to keep it simple. So at some point I'm gonna stop losing fat <laughs> and I'm gonna try to just maintain that physique, that body, body fat level at that point and trying to gain muscle while holding that body fat. That's kind of the plan. Uh, and five or six more pounds that I lose, I will not be super lean yet. So, uh, towards the end of the challenge, I'll also have to again go back to lose some more body fat. At least that's the plan for now. Time is up and ah, here we go. One more break for this exercise, and let's, yeah, I'll wait a little longer. <laughs> I'll wait a little longer to reset the cam. Woo! So, gosh, <laughs> definitely feeling it. So one more set of the push downs and then put this thing away. Bring dumbbells and do some kickbacks. We're gonna call it a day. Short video today, huh? It's only three exercises, four sets each. Uh, max count is 15 reps for, actually for this and the dumbbells. For the dips, I did quite a few dips. I know if I had some dip bars, I wouldn't be doing so many dips. But 
up to 15 reps, that's plenty. And then the 15 is not like, oh, you just did 15 and I'm done. It's like the, the closer I get to 15, the harder, the harder it gets. So challenging weight, decent amount of reps. We got this, we got this. All right, time is still ticking. I can definitely feel my <laughs> triceps uh, leaning against my last, my, my lat. <sighs> I don't think I've ever been this big, if you wanna call this big, because I'm not big, I'm just the average guy, probably below average, but I never had this much muscle mass on me before. At least I don't think. <laughs> I've seen pictures of uh, eight years ago. A picture of me from eight years ago and I look massive in that picture. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> but I don't remember being that big. You know? I was still in my 20s then. And I don't remember being like the picture looks impressive, but I, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember being like, oh, um, muscular or anything. But anyway, time is almost up. And we're gonna reset this thing before I forget. And let's stop this timer here. And double check, make sure that that thing is actually recording and here we go with the last set of these pushdowns. Here we go. Wow. Definitely feel every rep. Triceps are on fire. All right. We're done with this thing. <laughs> For today at least. Whew. And now, now we just have to put it away. And in case you're wondering, no, I have not purchased any more weight. <laughs> I'm really, really slacking. <sighs> Man, these plates are cold. That reminds me, these dumbbells are gonna be freezing. <sighs> All right, let's bring them on. Oh well, anyway. Just a few, well, it's still over a minute to go in our break. We have the four sets of kickbacks and we're gonna call it a day. And it's been a few minutes. 
since we started working out, meaning that <laughs> it's past 4 a.m. now. Uh, at some point, the phone will ring. But at least have chances to work uh, in the morning and be home by 4 p.m. Maybe 5, I don't know. Depending on where I go. But we'll be here during daytime. I mean, it's still a little bit of sunlight still out when I come home. And it's windy out here. Why is it so windy? Anyway, time is up. And here we go with the first set of kickbacks. Here we go. I'm not sure what's worse, the cold dumbbells or my triceps burning. I'm gonna go with my cold hands. Definitely hurt my fingertips. Ah, oh, but definitely felt it on the triceps too. Woo. Getting a good workout today. All right, all right. Three more sets. We're gonna call it a day. Sixty-three days. A lot of these days have been here in the cold weather. <clears throat> well, hopefully, we'll have a decent amount of days that are gonna be in the springtime, and a decent amount of days are gonna be in the summertime. All right, all right. Time's still ticking, still over a minute to go on this break. Well, tomorrow's gonna be chest day. Gotta bring my A game for tomorrow. Seriously considering start using the bar for chest, at least for the flat ones. Still using the dumbbells. And still using, well, that's it. And <laughs> still doing push-ups. Push-ups, dumbbell flies. And this small chance I'll be using the bar tomorrow. So I figured that's gonna be the easiest way to add more weight to the uh, to the press since I didn't get any more weight yet adding the extra weight of the bar and the plates that should compensate for the lack of weight on the dumbbells all right time is up here we go with the second set of the kickbacks 
There we go. Another break. <sighs> All right, we have two more sets. We're gonna call it the day. <sighs> feels good, feels good. Triceps are burning. Oh. Even though it's almost time for my phone to ring, I kind of don't want it to ring. <laughs> I feel like going back to bed. I guess we'll find that actually I'd rather to ring. Even though I kind of don't want it to ring, it should. Because if it doesn't, I will go to bed. And will not wake up until the phone rings in the afternoon. And then at that point my entire day will be all <laughs> wasted. <laughs> Spend it in bed, even though I worked out in the morning. <sighs> Alright. Still one over one minute to go on this break. Let's have some water. I can tell I'm getting dehydrated. We have two more sets and we're gonna call it a day. If I decide to go with the barbell for chest tomorrow, I will have to be very careful. <laughs> Cause there's not gonna be much I can do if I decide to go all the way out to failure. I have to leave one rep in the tank, just for safety measures. You know, sometimes I think I have one more rep in the tank, and I actually don't. I don't want that to happen when I'm underneath that bar. All right, time is up. And here we go again with the third set of the kickbacks. Here we go. All right, time for our last break of the day. It's definitely a good exercise today. Yeah. 
how easy or how hard it is to get a body transformation. Physically speaking, it's not so hard. It's more consistency and constantly being thinking about it. Thinking on what you eat, how much of that you eat, what you eat, how much you move, working out every day or every other day, whatever workout program you're following. The hardest part is to know how many calories you take and how many calories you burn. That is extremely difficult. Okay, not extremely difficult, it's fairly difficult, especially for How do I say it in a nice way? <laughs> Especially for this modern age where everything is an app. People think that by putting their age, their height and their weight, there's some sort of magical equation that will give you the results of, oh, this is how many calories you burn in a day or how many calories you should take in a day things are not that simple. <laughs> Everybody's different, everybody burn different amount of calories per day, depending on what they do also. Some people take 2,000 calories and still lose weight, and some people take 2,000 calories and gain weight, regardless if they're the same age, height, and weight doesn't really matter so everything is different everybody is different so for figuring the calories in and out is probably the hardest part of accomplishing a fitness goal then the second hardest part is working out and following through simply because there's always something happening. Something, always something happening in life. Always an excuse or a reason to stop working out or to pig out. Cheat on your diet. But anyway, time is up. And here we go with the last set of the kickbacks. Well, that was a good, uh, good exercise for today. Whew. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.